Okay, so here's my problem. I love shooting video with my iPhone. It's just so convenient and I always have it with me. But I also edit in Final Cut Pro 7. And every time I try to import my iPhone video into Final Cut Pro, I just have all kind of problems with the audio doesn't render or I have to render it. It doesn't come in clean. Then I, the video is always clunky and it's just a pain to have to edit. And the problem is that the format the iPhone uh, records in isn't easily editable and renderable by Final Cut Pro. So after researching the internet and finding a couple of pretty helpful articles on how to improve the workflow between the iPhone, I'm going to show you how to take your iPhone video, convert it, and import it into Final Cut Pro so that it's smooth and that it works and you can edit with it easily. So here we go. Okay, so what we got here is uh, we got my iPhoto. I have uh, pulled in a, uh, a video from my iPhone and so we're just going to quickly uh, here select that, uh, import it into uh, into uh, my uh, iPhoto and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Final Cut Pro I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to import my video so I'm going to come down here to uh, movies I'm going to come all the way down here to my events I'm going to choose and now I'm going to drop this down here and uh, first thing I want to notice is it's going to try to uh, you've probably seen this box before but we're going to try to um, match the sequence settings with this so the problem is we have this red render bar on the audio line right now and um, and that's for this. Okay, so we got a problem with that. Now, to fix it, we're going to go ahead and pull up our compressor over here. Okay? And we're going to run something through compressor and create a custom setting and then drop it down. So now I'm going to come back over here to my eye photo shrink this up pretty good. I'm going to just take it and drag it right over here. Okay, now what we want to do is I want to come down here and uh, Apple Formats and come down here to this ProRes that I want to use. And I'm going to drag it up here. Okay, now we're going to take a look at a couple things here. We're going to use these buttons. Um, we use this button and in particular this audio here I want to check this uh, pass through and the settings so I'm going to escape that click on up here I'm going to change this pass through to enabled next I want to just verify my settings so linear PCM we want to do stereo we'll just go ahead and leave it at 48 and then that's that looks good okay so I'm going to hit OK and now what I want to do is save this as iPhone to FCP. So I'm going to save that. Now scroll down here and I've got one custom setting right here. So now I want to take that and I want to use this little guy right here and I want to save it as a droplet. And I'm going to call the same thing iPhone to FCP set my desktop and save it right there so now if I hide my compressor, and if I hide my iPhoto, and if I hide my Final Cut Pro, I've got this guy right here. I'm going to drag it right up here. And that's my iPhone to FCP app. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back into my iPhoto, and I'm going to grab my video, and I'm going to pull it right over here to my droplet. And that's going to give me... Um, I, don't, I think I want to change my destination. Okay, so I'm going to, I can either come down here and pick one of these guys, or I can hit choose, and I just want to pick my desktop. So now I'm going to hit submit, and I'm going to go ahead and submit that. Now, move over here, and here we go. Here we go, it's right over here, and it's working. So, next thing I'm going to do is jump back into my final cut. I'm going to file, import files, 
and I'm just going to jump here to my desktop and here we go select it choose and now I've got the file name so I'm going to uh, do a new sequence and so now I'm going to double click there and I'm going to drag my new guy right down here once again I got this so I'm going to hit yes but now you can see I've got two right and uh, um, you can also see that my render bar looks clean okay as compared to this sequence one right here where I got the one thing in the render bar so I'm gonna come over here and now I'll scroll through fine and I can play it Okay, so there you go. We have successfully imported a uh, video from your iPhone, converted it into a file format that Final Cut Pro can use, and uh, imported it into Final Cut Pro. So I hope that you uh, learned something from this tutorial and you enjoyed it. Can I stop spinning around now?